In this video, we make the brief observation that because of the way we've defined the sine and the cosine using the unit circle, there are sines and cosines that are really easy to find. And in particular, multiples of 90 degrees or um, pi over 2 radians those sines and those cosines are going to be really relatively straightforward. Like, let's look. At the sine of 270 degrees. So we'll draw our circle, 270 degrees, brings us down here. And this is a unit circle. It has radius 1. This point over here is the point 1, 0. This point up here is the point 0, 1. This point over here is the point negative 1, 0. This point down here is 0, negative 1. So the sine of 270 degrees is negative 1, the y-coordinate. The cosine of 270 degrees is zero, the x-coordinate. The sine of pi over two. So if we don't have a degree symbol, we're working with radians. Pi over 2 radians is a right angle. The sine is the y-coordinate. We're now looking at this point up here. Let me cover that up. So the y-coordinate of this point is 1. If we wanted the cosine of pi over 2, well, the cosine is the x-coordinate, so it's 0. Um, the sine of negative 90 degrees. Draw the axis, draw the unit circle. Here's the initial side of our angle. A negative angle means we're going clockwise. So the terminal side is down there. Because this is the unit circle, its radius is 1. This is the point 0, negative 1. This is 0 because we're on the y-axis. All points on the y-axis have an x-coordinate of 0. This 1 because that's the radius of the circle negative one because we're going down. And the sine is the y-coordinate, negative one. If we wanted the cosine of this angle, zero, the x-coordinate. 